Hey, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. It is October 8th, 2024. And I am wide awake to the complexity of what it is to be a human on planet Earth and the contradictions and the fact that simultaneously on Earth there is horrible things happening and wonderful things happening there are people being honest with each other and there are people manipulating each other. Uh, my dad lives in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and he is hunkered down with his neighbors uh, while the storm is heading towards his area. And I'm a little concerned and yet I'm not buying into, you know, getting all freaked out and full of panic and fear. Um, I know that things can be under-dramatized as well as things could be over-dramatized. And I'm seeing people being so polarized about topics to do with the planet Earth and the moisture and the technology versus nature the, the fact that we genetically modify our food and we experiment with chemicals when it comes to medical things, when it comes to things that happen on planet Earth, I'm just going to avoid using certain words because I'm not here to argue with anybody about so-called theories of what is true and what is false. I personally believe there's a lot of cancel culture and gaslighting going on. Uh, anybody who questions certain conformity ideas, <laughs> certain uh, ideas that a majority of people are told to agree upon, Sometimes when a bunch of people are told something, it's because it's true. Other times when a bunch of people are told something, it's because it's an idea that people want other people to believe, and it doesn't mean that it's true or not. So, And I can see that we're being barded. I wrote a song called Abundance, Abundance, poking fun at the term, the word abundance, because I have a fear of scarcity. Um a dance of buns, a bun dance. I, I took the word abundance and I broke it up, just like the word avoidance, avoid dance. Self-abandonment got me stranded again, polluted and uprooted, things like that, wisdom that pops into my head that I write down as rhymes. And so abundance, bombardi, discardi. Um, not tardy, we are hardy, we are smarty, strong and hearty. So the lines in my song, there's polarized landscape and there's cancel culture, vulture, virtue signal soldiers. So there's things that frustrations that I have about current reality and what I would say about certain things that I think are propaganda happening in the world versus uh, paranoid delusional theories about things that may or may not be true, but sometimes the so-called main idea that is being promoted as true is not necessarily true either. So I can see why people are stressed out and confused and being bombarded. So I say abundance, bombardi, discardi. Um, now time always here, now time always here, not tardy. We are smarty, strong and hardy, meaning we are powerful human beings and we can wake up to the emperor has no clothes and the elephant in the room and things like this. So the blower of whistles and the trailblazers in the world and the people that I admire, the oxymorons through the door, a group for loners, and they all showed up. So I am writing poems about current times and I'm really happy that a place that was upset with me recently played some of my music. So a radio station, Hollow Earth Radio, played some of my music. And I'm really grateful and honored and happy that Dumpster Diving Boots and UFO Camera was played on the radio. And the DJ talked a few minutes about the music, the unique music called Kringflower is the name of our album, Goddess Kring 
produced by Superflower in Interactive Jack Records, Seattle. So that's just my artistic statement. Music is being shared. My poetry book, Kringonian Pizzazz. Kringonian Pizzazz, my poetry book. So there's, oh, is that upside down? <laughs> 1984, Brave New World, Logan's Run, The Matrix, and Blade Runner. Hunger Games, movies like that implying certain things. And I recently saw the movie, The Substance, which was a really disturbing, absurd, dark, 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 grotesque comedy. And yet I appreciated aspects of it similar to how I appreciate the movie Joker, the first one. I haven't seen the, the sequel yet. I am going to see that. That's extremely dark humor. I'm not a fan of uh, extreme violence in movies, but I am a fan of movies that are extremely brave and able to shine light on the ills of human nature. I think that it was Bob Dylan who said, thanks to the Academy for having the courage to shine a light on the ills of humanity when he won an award for something. Let's see, what was it? Well, I don't remember, but I love a lot of the Bob Dylan songs. I recently listened to A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall because I'm thinking about my dad in Florida and I'm a little worried about my dad, but he's very smart, very practical. He's super healthy and muscular and strong. He's 80, but he's a personal fitness trainer. Literally, he's a certified personal fitness trainer um, in Port St. Lucie, Florida. He's super fit and strong and smart and healthy. So, and him and his neighbors, have been through many hurricanes before, but this one might be worse. But I was listening to A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall, thinking about not to make light of the actual storm uh, and the danger to uh, people, plants, and animals, um, not to make light of that, but the opposite, to actually acknowledge with the poetic expressiveness of Bob Dylan, the serious, simultaneously tragic and beautiful planet earth and what it's like to be a human on this earth when there's extremely wealthy people and extremely poor people and people suffering. Okay. My phone just went off. Um, I'm going to have to talk to that person later, but there's my phone. But um, simultaneously on this planet, there are wonderful things and tragic things happening. And the Bob Dylan song, Hard Rain's Gonna Fall, acknowledges that in a very poetic way. Just like I'm trying to express myself about current times without getting myself canceled because some of my opinions are controversial and some people like to gaslight people that have opinions that do not conform to the main idea that's being promoted. So, And sometimes the main idea promoted is promoted because it's actually solid and true. And sometimes the main idea is promoted because it's actually 180 degrees from being true. So, but, you know, you can think for yourself and uh, I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't think. That's not my job, but I have very strong opinions and strong feelings. Uh, and honestly, some of my opinions could get me canceled if I said them out loud, probably. So I'm not going to say those, but I'm writing songs like Polarized Landscape, Cancel Culture Vulture, Virtue Signal Soldiers, uh, Abundance. And these are poetic, metaphorical ways that I can express myself about current times in a poetic, artistic way. I think some people don't realize how intelligent I am. And I imagine a lot of people have that problem when you're, when you're, um, I'm on the autism spectrum apparently and ADHD and dyslexic and very creative and very intuitive and very close to nature and a wild free range human being as much as I can be. And I love trees and I talk to trees and I'm a very spiritual person and I don't think of things as just surface level and I see the nuances and I'm into the philosophy of Joseph Campbell and Hunderwasser and the fact that we shadow project and famous people uh, can be seen as heroes or villains, depending on who you ask, even though we know that's silly because no person is a total villain or a total hero. 
And these are just some of the things I'm thinking of right now. I need to get ready for my day. And thank you. Good luck to everyone. Thank you for the feedback to my YouTube subscribers. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the feedback. I'm sorry that I tend to be a bit repetitive. Uh, that is part of my autism, perhaps, or my ADHD or my OCD or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but these are some of the challenges that my brain has. But what's brilliant about me is my highly sensitive, intuitive nature, my creativity, my love and empathy for plants and animals. Uh, I took a beautiful video and photo of a spider recently. I love spiders. My friend and I save spiders. We don't harm them. I appreciate the beauty of spiders and other people think spiders are scary or ugly or whatever. I tend to not think any animal is ugly, especially when I go to the zoo and I see animals like warthogs with big fangs and horns. And I think they look fierce and they look um, intense and fierce and maybe they're not pretty and cute like some animals are. But I appreciate the diversity in nature, the biodiversity of nature. I hope my dad's going to be okay in Florida. Him and his neighbors have generators and they have extra supplies. They have houses that are have hurricane-proof windows in them, literally, and they have all the precautions that they know how to take in Florida. My dad's been through, he's lived there for eight years in Florida. He's had many hurricanes go through his area. Uh, so far, he has not had severe damage in his area of Port St. Lucie. Hopefully, that'll be the case, but it might not be. It might not be okay. Uh, my dad might be in a danger area, and that might be a tragedy that is going to happen. I don't know. Um, it's now October 8th, 2024, so who knows? Uh, what's going to happen, but I'm like facing this head on, like the reality of, I don't want to over catastrophize what's happening, but I also don't want to under catastrophize what's happening. I want to take it seriously and pay attention to re the reality of what physically happens. I also am a very spiritual person. And I feel like if anything happens to my dad, I will be aware of him as a soul and not just a body. And so I'm not into freaking out about the fragility of life. Life is fragile and there's more to this life than our bodies. That's why the Demi Moore movie, um, I'm also connecting the dots in a different way. Um, the movie, The Substance is a really disturbing movie, but it pokes fun at the absurdity of how shallow humans can be judging each other on how they look and then being afraid of people who don't look as pretty as we want them to be on the surface level and not really seeing people on the inside and paying attention to their heart and soul and mind instead of focusing on their surface level appearance and their cosmetic beauty. And actually, I think that that the desire to think everyone needs to look perfectly beautiful all the time is a fear of death. It is a fear of getting old and not looking pretty. It's it it's a primal fear of death, I think, a, a fear of no longer being young and fertile and beautiful. And the fact that we all get old and wrinkly and we eventually pass away and these bodies wear out, you know, we can live to 100. Um my dad plans to live till he's 100. I hope that he does get to live till he's 100. I know Jimmy Carter is now 100 and still, I think, on this planet as I'm recording this. And I admire him very much, Jimmy Carter. And people can live to, a few of my relatives actually have lived to like 102. My great grandfather and his sister both lived past 100. So it is possible to live past 100. Uh, so I hope my dad does. But if not, I am going to focus on love and appreciating people for their heart, soul, mind, body, all of it. So I'm close to nature. I'm close to spirituality. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. I'm intuitive. Uh, I love nature. I don't think humans should genetically modify everything. That's my own personal opinion. I have all kinds of opinions that I won't say here, but I will continue questioning all authority. I don't do things based on what other people boss me around to do. Uh, I believe in having a compassion and empathy for people who do not agree with me. I have empathy and compassion for people who have romantic ideas and they want to 
think certain people are heroes and that they can trust those people. I tend to think that everybody is a little hero and a little villain. Everybody's a little bit Luke Skywalker and a little bit Darth Vader. And I don't really think anyone fits into a box. And there it is for today. So enjoy the day and the contradictions and the catch. Don't let the catch 22 get you blue. And yeah. So freedom and embracing grace, moonshone face. Crush the berries in the snow. Dylan-esque romantic glow. Anger takes its toll, blowing status quo. So check out the Kring Flower Music, Goddess Kring uh, Poetry Turned Into Music, or my poetry book, Kringodian Pizzazz. I'm happy about that. I still do want to make a documentary film about the Goddess Kring TV show. Uh, that is in the future, hopefully, and need to get busy on that. Still in the pre preliminary um, planning stages of that, working on a second album at Interactive Jack Records Seattle. I think we have 12 songs now. We're working on other songs and happy to write new poems and turn them into songs and sending love and Thank you, everybody who's helping everybody that's in the storm areas of the world, people in war-torn areas of the world, all the different countries in the world. Um, thank you to everyone that's helping uh, people, plants and animals survive, uh, helping people heal and grow. I'm grateful for all the people in the world that are building bridges with each other instead of um, focusing on conflict with each other. And I'm seeing whatever kind of good ripple effect I can create here in Seattle. So locally, I don't believe in being in denial about things happening in the world, but it's not like I can go and save everyone from all the things happening in the world. I can only do what I can do as an individual. I think every single person is a totally unique individual. I think it's good for us to not put each other into boxes and stereotype each other and follow your heart, follow your dreams, do what you love. Express yourself. Everyone's unique. Everyone's special in their own way. I'm inspired by people who express their individuality in a creative way. That would be the artists and the musicians and the poets in the world. And thank you to all of the cooperative people that are helping build something positive and there's probably more to this reality than we even realize. Thank you to the ecosystem, the plants, the animals, the earthworms, the soil. I appreciate the whole ecosystem. So there it is. Okay, bye for now. Enjoy your day. Bye for now, one day at a time.